Hi everyone, welcome back to my Tomb Raider 3 Remastered playthrough. Today we are playing through Caves of Kalia. This is just a really short little level, mainly a boss level, but we do have a lot of story at the end, a big cutscene and a lot of story. So yeah, looking forward to that. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So we followed Tony to these caves and now we just have to work our way through the caves and find out where he's at really. I love those roots, I love those roots that they added. Love it. Okay, I need to remember to get everything in here. Hmm. I think there's a snake down one of these. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think that is literally just a snake. <laughs> there's nothing there. Um, okay. This level is super creepy. It feels really unsettling or something, I think. Especially this maze part. Um, do we go down here? Let me just save it and then check. Um, oh, do you know what I think that does actually? I think that's actually a shortcut to one of the other levels. So we don't want to do that. If you're speed running or something, I think you might use that, but I want to get everything. So I don't want to use that. Oh, there's kind of like a squelchy sound when she she stands on the on the mud. It's really cool. Okay, so I think that is everything on this level. So now we need to find the boulder, which is somewhere over here. Not that way. <laughs> it's somewhere this way ish unless it's that's just where i came from maybe it's actually it's back here yeah i think it might be in here yes okay Ooh, super creepy looking sugar Ooh. okay that almost got me <laughs> oh yeah there's another one here Okay, so this is the next level. Is there a snake? Yeah, there is. Huh? Just a snake. 
Nothing else. Trying to... Oh! They like pigs. Pigs on the wall. Trying to really concentrate so I don't lose my way and forget where I was going. That looks like a pig, doesn't it? Okay. I just want to check I have all the pickups. Like, where did this one go? This... Oh, this is the other side of that block. I see. Absolutely nothing here. Was I supposed to push it the other way out of the way? I don't remember. I don't remember this bit at all. Oh, okay, I think, I think I found my way. Did I? I think so. Okay. Who? the exit so let's just have a quick look around here And then I do believe that just leads from the shortcut that you can take. So I don't think we need to go down there. Oh, this bit's so creepy. Oh, I'm gonna save it, I'm scared. <laughs> Okay, so first things first, when we drop down, we have to survive the boulder. <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! Why do those snakes have so much reach? Ugh. 
trying not to waste flares, but... Oh! Yeah. Find all of the cobras in the caves of Kalia. Oh, that was a, that was an achievement. Awesome. Great. So there was not a cobra left alive after Lara's trip through here. <laughs> Okay, so now we meet Tony. So I'm just gonna take him out with a shotgun and hopefully don't catch fire. So yeah, Tony's... Ugh, look, Tony's got some stuff going on. Sugar. Take that, Tony. Yeah, see, he's not so hot after all, so... That was a good pun. Because he was, like, throwing the fire, you know? I'll just see myself out. <laughs> I'll see myself out. But yeah, so obviously Tony had made his way here. I don't know what he was doing. But yeah, he um, tried to use his powers to kill Lara. Didn't work. Lara will now take the artifact and leave because this is this is what she came for. This is why she came to India in the first place. And as we take this, we will get to watch a cutscene. And oh yeah, it's not remastered. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to be misrepresented by that retarded researcher you've just been with. Uh, Lara. I'm Dr. Willard. I'd come to converse with Tony myself, but I saw you were doing a rather more creditable job, I think. Mm -hmm. Indeed, I'm inspired. I'd like to offer you other work. What? Shoot the breeze with some of your other boys? No thanks. Fortunately, they were the only lab rats we let loose into the field. No. My request is for three other artifacts like this. The Infada tribe only had one artifact of this type. It's unique. Anyway, what would your interest in it be? I'll show you. It's not from India, rather an island near Antarctica. It is in fact meteorite rock that has been fashioned and used by Polynesians. They were once settled there many, many years ago. See that? That's unique, an unknown material. So how did it end up here? Formed from the planets, sculpted by Polynesians, distributed by goons. Our excavations and investigations have led us to this. A sailor's diary from Charles Darwin's expedition on the HMS Beagle. August 14th, 1834. This voyage is getting too boring for me to go on with this journal. Me adventures at sea are an embarrassment. The only tales I'll have to tell are hours of bird watching, picking <laughs> and pressing flowers, following them blasphemous ideas of the governor, Darwin. But this don't even concern me now. I just want food. Something Ugh. more than vegetable broth in me. Today we five have made a pact. The only sampling we're going to be doing is for meat. Pure, solid, blood-rich meat. Yeah. As, as a vegetarian, that doesn't sound good to me. <laughs> uh. The snow's run out. The tracks have gone. Just keep going. We're on its trail. I love that lizard one. Where is that one? Oh yeah, it's here. It's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Or salamander, I always like thought it was. There's only four. None for you.
Oh god, I hate that bit. Yikes. Nobody better say nothing about this to the governor. Else we'll be back having to hunt down that creature for his samples. Paul fell down a crevasse, okay? Okay, Stephen. Amen. Stephen was to be the only survivor of the four. When he arrived back in London, he superstitiously sold off his artifact, having seen his pals murdered or killed with theirs. One here in India, one in the South Pacific, and one in Nevada. The place is where I'd like you to go. Sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, so finish the India chapter. Done! Okay, so let's as briefly as is possible um, go through that cutscene. So as Lara exits the caves, Dr. Willard pulls up beside her on his boat. Willard says that he doesn't want to be misrepresented by Tony, who Willard was just on his way to have a word with. So basically he was like, I don't want to be associated with like stupid mad Tony. He doesn't represent me or my business. I was actually on my way to, you know, give out to him basically. But he then says that he saw Lara taking care of Tony and decided to leave her to it. Willard then says he's very impressed with how Lara handled Tony. Willard then unexpectedly offers Lara a job. Willard says that he would like Lara to help him collect the three other artifacts. Lara is very confused and says that the Indian Infada tribe only had one artifact and that it's unique. Willard then informs Lara that this artifact is actually meteorite rock and it along with three other artifacts were carved from the meteorite by a Polynesian tribe. This is the tribe that settled at the meteorite crash site in Antarctica and built those big stone heads and everything many, many years ago. Again, we will learn more about that tribe and all of that in future videos. And I think this quote from Willard really sums up kind of what's going here. So he says, formed from the planets, sculpted by Polynesians, distributed by goons. So these artifacts are from this crashed meteorite. Um, the, the meteorite rock was then taken by this Polynesian tribe who settled there and carved into these artifacts. And then these artifacts were then distributed accidentally around the world by Darwin's sailors. So kind of all these, these three separate events came together to cause this to happen. Willard then shows Lara a diary that he found during his Antarctica excavations. It's a sailor's diary from Charles Darwin's expedition aboard the HMS Beagle. So as we know, Charles Darwin was himself traveling and also sending, you know, expeditions on his behalf around the world in the 1800s to study evolution. Oh yes, we're going down the evolution road again, just like in Tomb Raider 1. So Darwin commissioned this group of sailors to travel around the world and collect samples on his behalf. So Darwin, I don't believe was with them on this expedition, but they were on his behalf traveling around collecting all these samples to then bring back to him so he could study them. We then cut to a flashback where a sailor named Stephen Barr sits aboard the HMS Beagle on August 14th, 1834. In desperate search of food, Stephen Barr joins a group of four other men who leave the ship for a nearby island and they are hoping to find some meat on this island. They are hunting. They follow wolf tracks into a cave and the five men enter a large cavern and find the four meteorite artifacts there left behind years and years and years ago by the Polynesian tribe who did live there. As I said, 
We'll learn more about that and why they abandoned everything and all of that in later videos. So each of the four other sailors picks up an artifact and then Paul Caulfield starts teasing Stephen Barr saying that there's only four stones and there's none left for Stephen. As Paul Caulfield taunts him, a wolf attacks from above and rips Paul's throat out. Stephen shoots at the wolf and it runs away. As Stephen grabs Paul to try and leave, the wolf licks Paul's blood off of the ground. I presume this is to like get a taste for it, uh, get a taste for the scent, all of that kind of thing. The wolf then attacks and just as it does, the cavern begins to cave in. In. The wolf is impaled and Stephen and Paul take an ice slide outside and I'm not gonna lie that actually looked pretty fun. <laughs> it looked pretty fun. When they land Stephen realizes that Paul is dead. Stephen and the other sailors then bury Paul and Stephen takes Paul's meteorite artifact. They all agree to lie and say that Paul fell down a crevasse so that they won't have to hunt down the wolf and collect its samples that attacked him. Basically, they don't want to do extra work. They just want to bury Paul and get out of there. And so that is the cross that um, Dr. Willard and his research team dug up in the opening cutscene of the game. That's where it said, you know, Paul Caulfield, 14th of August, 1834, HMS Beagle. So each of the remaining four sailors took a meteorite artifact each. Each? I don't know why that came out so weird. And then they continue on their sample collecting voyage across the world. The sailors then traveled to other locations, including Nevada, India, and the South Pacific. However, at each of these visited locations, a sailor met his untimely demise and lost their artifact until only Stephen and his artifact remained and he managed to return safely to England. There, he sold off his artifact, convinced that I guess they were cursed and that if he kept it, uh, you know, he too would end up meeting a horrible, horrible Fate. So yes, Dr. Willard knows the locations of these artifacts. He just needs someone like Lara to go and retrieve them for him from Nevada, South Pacific, London, where, you know, Stephen Barr sold his artifact. And well, Lara has already retrieved the one now from India. So to just quickly summarize, Stephen Barr had the Eye of Isis, which he sold in London. Smith had the Aura Dagger, which ended up in the South Pacific Islands. And then Henderson and Johnson. We don't know which of them is which, but either of them had the Infada Stone in India and Element 115 in Nevada. So yes, unfortunately, we don't know much about the stories of Henderson and Johnson. What we do know is that at some point, the Darwin expedition stopped in India and either Henderson or Johnson had the Infada Stone. He was killed at some point. I don't know if he was killed by the Infada tribe or something else. Either way, the Infada tribe ended up taking the stone and they placed it in the temple of Indra to worship it and presumably they were driven mad by it and died out at some stage. So yes, the Infada stone provides the user with powers of levitation, the ability to manipulate energy from the atmosphere and compress it into energy bursts. The Infada Stone must be driven deep through your heart to gain its powers. So Lara, now very intrigued by all Dr. Willard has told her, says that she will head to all three of those locations to retrieve the artifacts. I guess she's just curious about them, curious about the story and the history and, you know, what they're capable of. And I guess because Dr. Willard seems to know all the locations and all of that, she figures she might as well work with him. So yes, that level took 14 minutes. We There was no secrets in that level. We found two crystals and we got 10 out of 10 pickups. So now is for the fun part. We get to choose a location so we can go South Pacific Islands, London, or Nevada. I always go to Nevada first for a very particular reason. Uh, my understanding is that that reason has actually been completely changed to make it not matter in the remaster which one you go to first. 
but I'm a creature of habit, so I'm just gonna stick with going to Nevada first. Thank you so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you as always to my amazing channel members, Zanier, Rianne, Adam Green, Michael, Dealey Boy, Alchemist Days, Mrs. Veronica Cat, Axmania, Miss Bud Rain 6000, JJ Dreamer, A. Jason Hellman, CB Brenda, Adenio, Jojo, Emerald Raider, Carmen Delash, Alicia Jade Fisher, Matthias, Absolute Concept, Christy, Joey Favellis, John Dreesen, JB, Saint 318, Seth Brown, Resi Raider, Lucy H, Vincula, Quite Lazy, David Bush, Loth Cat Mom, Heavy Dream, Punny One, Martin K, Bella's J Dragon, Mark CC, Fade, Mary, Steve A, Ian McGar, Scott Hipper, Josh Wood, Mark Andrew, Gunnar LP, One Salty Meatball, Nikki McKay, A1, Alessandro Campos, Michael White, Alexander Jake Lodge, Michael Leah, Mikey Luke Mitchell, Bill Gilroy, Duality of Life's Patch, Shadow Wesker, David Morrison, Darcy Rianne Phillips, Craig E. DeVay, Sean Foley, A Zebra 888, Halid, Phil Gaming 47, Anna DeWitt, Alabandri, Alotabi, and Jared. You guys are awesome and yeah, I guess I'll see you very, very soon in Nevada. Let's go. Oh, she's so pretty.